Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Chihiro. My name's Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. Well, I hope I pronounced that right. However, jumping in with the chords, um, we have just four chords that are going to get us through this song. However, I'm going to talk about what chords they are, how to play them, how long for, and the structure and so on. Now, we're in standard tuning for this, and the first chord we need is a C major chord, which is a three on the A string, two on the D, an open G, one on the B, and an open high E string. Second chord, A minor, open A, two, two on the D and G, one on the B and an open E string. We then have an E minor chord, which is an open E string, two, two on the D and G, and then zero on the remaining strings. And the last chord we need to get through the song, G major. Three on the E string, two on the A, zero, 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 and a three on the high E string. Basically, every chord gets four beats, so you could start off by doing this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. However, there is a nice kind of funky bass part that's going on. And what I'm going to do is show a chord progression, um, a strumming pattern, that I think fits that really well, just, just in case you're playing the guitar and singing and wanting to do uh, something a bit more than just sustain the chords. So, the way I'm playing it is pretty full on, but it kind of matches well with that bass line if you want to keep the, the groove and the, the feel of the song uh, going in your guitar playing. So, on the C major chord, I'm doing a bit of palm muting and some strumming. Um, if you're not too sure on palm muting, just use that part of your hand, touching this side of the strings lightly. So you can get a sound out of the guitar, but you're not completely muting it. And I'm doing something along the lines of down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Um, I want to play that nice and slow so you can really follow along. Now, it's worth mentioning just before I dig into how you can make these chords sound even stronger, that if you want the chord chart for this song, as well as the chords and the lyrics matched up so you can follow along with every word and what chord needs to be played with that word, then head on over to Patreon. I brought everything out professionally. Saves you from writing it down or finding a, an odd copy online because sometimes there's mistakes online. Uh, then, yeah, head on over to Patreon. I've triple checked everything and you can get it for just a couple of dollars. Anyway, let's jump back in with the chords. With the C major chord, you'll have probably noticed that I was moving this finger quite a lot. I was hammering on that string. And if you're going for a nice acoustic guitar version, that'll work really well. So I'm just hammering that on, adds a bit of texture to the song. Same with the A minor, with these two fingers. E minor, uh, you could, I suppose, do it with those two fingers. And then with the G major, I was kind of just playing it normally. Now, the thing is, this song just loops around those chords over and over and over until the cows come home. So it's relatively straightforward in that sense. But like I said, if you are interested in getting the extra stuff over on Patreon, then feel free to get that. Not only do you get access to a bunch of songs from her latest album that I've made videos for, but you get about 230 plus songs that I've made videos for over the past couple of years. So feel free to check that out. I also want to say thanks to the people on the screen. Those are my active patrons. They'll get access to that content straight away the moment this video goes live. So thanks to them for watching and thanks to you for watching as well. I'll see you in the next video.